Early in the 1900s, around about 1911, a scientist called Rutherford proposed a, a new type of model for the atom. It was called the nuclear model. And it was made up of electrons, which were orbiting in clouds or shells around a central nucleus. And the nucleus contained two types of particles. One was the proton, and the other, which was discovered uh, a few years later, was the neutron. So the group of tiny particles at the center of an atom is called the atomic nucleus. Now to give you an idea of the scale of an atom, if an atom were to be the same size as a football stadium, so we'd have the electrons orbiting around the outer stands in shells or clouds, now the central nucleus would be the size of a pea at the center of the football pitch. Now that means that most of the mass of the atom, that's the neutrons and the protons, which are in the nucleus, most of that mass of the atom is concentrated in a tiny, tiny, tiny spot in the nucleus at the center of an atom. And most of the atom is empty space. So all around here, this is just empty space. It's really weird to think that you and I are 99.99% nothingness, empty space. Hmm. So let's take a, a look at this table, which will summarize the atomic structure. So let's start off with the proton. Now the proton, this C here, labeled C, has a relative charge of plus one. And it has a relative mass of one. So we're talking relative, and these particles are all relative to each other. The next particle inside the nucleus, that tiny P, if you like, at the center of the football pitch, is the neutron. The neutron. This was discovered some time after protons, and it was discovered to have a neutral charge, i.e. relative charge of zero. It has the same mass, more or less, as a proton. So it has a relative mass of one. And finally, outside in, in the outer stands of the atom are the electrons. The electron has a relative charge of minus one. A relative charge of minus one. So if that means if we have six electrons in our shells, then that would mean a relative charge out here of minus six. That must be balanced by the, the positively charged nucleus. And in the nucleus we have protons. Each one has a plus one charge. So we must have a plus six charge or six protons in the nucleus to balance six electrons in the outside in the shells, the orbitals of the atom. And this means that atoms are electrically neutral. They're electrically balanced. The same number of electrons as protons. So what about the relative mass of electrons? Now, electrons are tiny. In fact, they are so small, scientists think that they don't have a structure at all. Uh, but they do have a very, very small mass, which is about one two thousandth of the mass of a neutron or a proton. So they are very, very l much less massive than a neutron or proton. It means that most of the mass of an atom is concentrated in the center of the atom, in that central P, uh, in the uh, center of that uh, football pitch, if an atom was the size of a football pitch. So there is the structure of an atom and remember that this is called the nuclear model and the atomic nucleus is this group of particles at the very center of an atom.